Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my FSF aim generation guide for Baldur's Gate 3. This game has received many updates since its release. It's in a much better state now, unfortunately. It still does not support FSF frame generation. It does not even support DLSS frame generation. So I'll be using PureDax FSF frame generation mod. This mod has not been updated since April 2024. Comes with DLSS upscaler version 3.5. So I'll manually update it to version 3.8. Unfortunately, PureDax mod is not free. You need to subscribe to their Patreon in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod file is present. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 5 US dollars. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. One good thing about this mod is that it's not limited to RTX GPUs. You can even use it on AMD GPUs. I have tested the mod on my raw guy lab that comes with AMD Radeon 780M GPU. Just make sure you have connected your discount account to your Patreon account. After subscribing to PureDuck's Patreon page, you'll automatically gain access to their Discord server. This is what it looks like. Just click on Downloads here, then click on BG3 Beta Access. Scroll down to the end, download the latest version, FSR3 Build 02. Click on the view link. Here they have provided the installation instructions for the mod. I'll quickly go through them. Just need to extract the mod's contents to disk directory, Baldur's Gate 3 install folder, bin folder. Very important, need to launch the game in DirectX 11 mode, not Vulkan mode. Then select borderless display mode from the in-game settings. Then we need to enable either DLSS or DLA from the in-game settings. This setting will be available even on PCs with Intel or AMD based GPUs all thanks to the mod. In order to open the mod menu, just need to press the end keyboard key. Now when you run the game for the first time with the mod installed, you will be required to authenticate the mod, otherwise it's not going to work properly. Authentication process is very simple, just press the end keyboard key, this will open the mods menu. In the menu you will see an authenticate button, just click on it. It will open up a browser window that will take you to Patreon's page. Patreon will then ask for your permission, you just need to click on allow. This should complete the authentication process, then you can return to the game. Now open the mods menu by pressing the end keyboard key. You should be able to access the mod settings. The hotkey for toggling frame generation is keyboard star. This can be changed from bg3 upscaler.ini file. Entirely up to you. Download the mod by clicking on the zip link. I'll download the latest version of DLSS Subscaler from Tech Power of website. At the time of recording this video, it's version 3.8.10. Just click on download here. Now click on any of these servers. Download will start. Now I'll show you the mod setup process. Just open its zip file. Select all of the files and folders present inside the zip file. Copy. We just need to paste them in the game's install directory. I own the Steam version of the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Browse local files. This is the game's install directory. Open bin folder. We need to paste the mod files here. There's the game's exe file. Now I'll manually update DLSS upscaler. Open the upscaler zip file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this DLL file. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. Open bin folder. Open mods folder. Open upscaler base plugin folder. Paste the DLL file here. It's already present in this directory. Need to overwrite it. Older version is 3.5.10 Replace Newer version is 3.8.10 If you are using an RTX GPU, make sure Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling setting is enabled Right click anywhere in the desktop area Display settings Click on graphics Click on change default graphics settings From here, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling setting If your monitor supports variable refresh rate Enable this setting as well now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D settings. Click on Program settings. From the drop down bar, select Baldur's Gate 3. Scroll down until you find Low Latency Mode setting. Just set it to Ultra. The reason for enabling LLM is that this mod does not support NVIDIA Reflex. It has something to do with the game's API, DirectX 11. LLM should help in reducing the latency. My monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. With LLM enabled, FPS will get capped at 225. On a monitor with 144Hz refresh rate, FPS should get capped at 138. Scroll down again until you find this setting. VSync enabled. Click on apply here. 
my monitor is G-Sync compatible so I'll enable G-Sync settings as well click on setup G-Sync here enable these settings enable G-Sync G-Sync compatible enable for full screen mode enable settings for the selected display model apply another tip for Nvidia users just open Nvidia app click on settings click on features from here disable this setting game filters and photo mode this setting was causing a performance regression in some games play games launcher will pop up and you'll see this error prompt it's due to the mod files just click on close here get started from the launcher we need to select DirectX 11 mode not Vulkan play this is the version of the game at the time of recording this video 4.1.1.607-2089 in-game settings video display mode portal as window very important aspect ratio 16 to 9 resolution full HD vSync disabled DLSS upscaler enable again very important I am using the upscaler's quality preset high to ultra settings anti-lazing off depth of field off up to you Gaussian or circular options God rays on bloom disable optional subsurface scattering on slow SDD mode disable I have installed the game on an SSD dynamic routes enable I will test the game in the third act low city area very demanding on the CPU there's my team yeah, here FPS is around 95 I'll just open the mods menu by pressing the end keyboard key pause the game first I have already authenticated the mod so I have access to all of its settings from this drop down bar we can select the upscaler this mod supports DLSS, XCSS and even FSR3 upscalers I'll stick with DLSS 3.8 DLSS preset can be changed from this drop down bar preset F is selected by default it's recommended for DLA but I'm using upscalers quality presets so I'll just use preset E frame generation and hard fix settings Disable for the time being. Show you the base performance. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD. Ninety to one hundred FPS. I'll just go to the blushing mermaid tavern it's nearby. I think it's a true shame. Check out the CPU usage for the individual threads. CPU one usage is close to eighty percent. Lot of non-playable characters here. If you I triggered a cutscene by mistake. Leave the tavern. If not over, then through. Change my character. I'll enable frame generation now. Enable these two settings. Enable frame generation and hard fix. Without hard fix setting, interface will flicker. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 150. Can also the added amount of smoothness. It's buttery smooth. Games hard elements are not flickering. Not observing any artifacts around the character models. Zooming in. No issues with the text as well. If you ignore I keep triggering these cutscenes. I'll trigger an explosion now. Just need to get close to that house. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. FPS is going to tank. There you go. Drop down to 95 for a second. That's about it. FPS increased to 130 again. I'll check another spot, a crowded area. Go through this alley. Hundred to one fifty FPS in the lower city area. Look at that crowd. Okay, these guys are performing some magical tricks. Good performance even here. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck so you can drop a few settings if you want entirely up to you. I'll just engage in combat. Attack this guy, poor soul.
combat started top down view even here fps is around 140 on the higher side so pure dax fsr 3 mod still works properly with the latest version of Baldur's gate 3 and you can manually update dlss subscaler to version 3.8 that's it for the video guys i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.